What is the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We have got episode two of our subscriber showdown. I know that uh, the spelling is wrong here, so I'm going to have to fire my graphics guy. Cara, if you are watching, yeah, you're making me look like an amateur. But anyway, <laughs> we are back. We're going to have episode two of this. If you missed the first episode, you can check it out. And if you do want to get involved in a future episode, lads, this is how you do it. So I will be setting up a Discord. We are working on a lot of stuff, um, especially for leagues and stuff like that. So it'll be easier to kind of, uh, you know, organize things. But basically what I will be doing is I will be announcing on Twitter and on YouTube in a post. You'll see it as a comment on YouTube and you'll see it as a, twi a tweet on Twitter, obviously. And I'll just be putting up the match room where you'll be able to type in the match room data and the password which will be gained for entry or to gain entry into it so there are a couple of rules as well with the subscriber showdown we do have a limit of team strength 2250 we have a max limit of two special players. Now, this is just legend and epic players, and there's no player under 70. Now, in this first episode, I actually had my goalkeeper at level 69, so yeah, I made a bit, a bit of a mistake. But everything else is kind of fairly self-explanatory. It's a best of three series. So, in the first matchup, we have got Magic Man. Magic Man, a lot of you guys will know him. He's a couple of... Um, He's a mod on a couple of, of uh, popular Twitch guys' channels, um, and he's just an all-around good egg in the community. He's been a big supporter of me over the years, starting with my first YouTube channel all the way back with The Midnight Kid, and then moving on to this. So he's got a fairly decent squad, but my squad is a little bit more advanced than his, I think. Um, so I actually made a couple of changes to bring the level down a little bit more fair, because look, I don't want this to be a sweaty series. I don't want to be, this to be a tryhard e-football league where you know win at all cost uh, type matches I want to have a bit of crack with this get some good goals some good clips and then just obviously build upon it that we will eventually start doing live streaming uh, our content and live streaming the, the tournaments where you guys can join in real time I'll just put up a tweet and say look I'm going live opening up a room who wants it but I will say that it literally like the room was filling super super fast and as soon as somebody left the room there was somebody back in it straight away so i do appreciate all the support and we did play magic man in a best of three series so the rules are as follows you know as you saw there at the start and then it's a best of three so whoever wins two games basically um we don't play penalties as far as i know we just have extra time so if it is a draw after extra time or if if it is um you know like if the results are shared we do play another match but again I will be doing different different kind of rules with this. I'm not... There's a lovely little flicky there from Anthony. Anthony is... He's just insane, lads. He's absolutely amazing. But I will be doing different rules as we go along um, to keep it a little bit more fresh and fun. Uh, you know, because people are saying, oh, why not upgrade the the team strength a little higher so we can get a better squad? I mean, the, the idea of this is to kind of have... Um, you know, the, the non-meta players like in your squad. Obviously, you can have Anthony and you can have Cristiano Ronaldo or whatever. Look about, look at that for a, a shot from Anthony again. There is going to be a couple of good players, but I kind of want to have it that like you don't have a very high team strength so that, you know, if I am doing content on my eFootball League or I'm doing my uh, Dream Team Chronicles or whatever, you guys are going to be seeing like my top, top squad and I'm going to be coming up against Mbappe. I'm going to be coming up against the same players all the time. I mean, if you're playing eFootball League or you're playing uh, kind of competitively, you are going to be coming up against the same like five to six players all the time. Mbappe, Koundé, um, uh, Rudiger, Alaba, all those type of guys, you know what I mean? And then obviously the legends as well. So I will say as well that Magic was actually playing with manual finishing, manual shooting. And I think if he wasn't, he probably would have got some lovely goals because he was ripping me apart. This is a lovely chance here. And he crosses it in over, it was trying to be a bit of a shot. Um, but I do think obviously with the assistance of the shooting, I mean, it's pretty much just aim, pick your power and then shoot. But like I did obviously have the advantage of doing that. I don't really play manual shooting. Um, but yeah, it is something that I will look at in, in, in the end. You know, maybe I will just play fully manual um, if, if I want to do that. If somebody wants a challenge of that as well. I know a few boys that actually play uh, full manual and it is a bit of crack. It does take a lot of a lot of practice but this was a brilliant chance he was ripping me apart the ai takes a, de a desperate touch for him so you know he got very unlucky in a lot of instances you know i did win 2-0 in the first game uh it was a good result for me but 
to be honest with you i did have a slightly better team than him and the manual shooting from him cost him at least two goals especially in this game because he was ripping me apart with some beautiful play look at that for a, a ball in and if he's playing like assisted uh, shooting there that's a goal like definitely a goal um it's an absolutely insane ball in rip me apart over the top i don't really usually concede goals like that but that was an excellent pass in i wasn't expecting it and uh you know we had a match on our hands here so yeah I, as i said lads this is a bit of crack it is a bit of banter um hopefully eventually what i will be trying to do as i said is live stream it so again as i said it'll just be as simple as look i'm going live whoever wants to play we're doing the first two hours of the stream or whatever where we're just literally just going to be taking all challengers and then it's going to be a first come first serve uh style thing because i think if i organize it that it's like you know seven o'clock on you know friday evening or four o'clock on a sunday evening um i think it just kind of like it kind of loses loses a bit of the the randomness of it because i don't really want somebody there like waiting for me um you know and then i'm like 10 minutes late or whatever because that could be frustrating so i think doing it live as a lot of you guys have suggested is probably the best way of doing it as a lovely chance there again um so i think that is probably the best way of doing it and yeah i mean let me let me know what you guys think would you prefer me to do it live i think the the, the, the thing is right i'm doing kind of um this is a brilliant run from, again from anthony lads he's just so good uh, I'm doing it kind of at the moment just to introduce it because we did play the first episode against Shales. We played the second one against Magic Man. Um, and then obviously it's just to kind of chat it out and kind of explain the rules and stuff that if somebody does want to get involved as we bang that home with Cristiano and he's going to do his famous celebration. Boom. But yeah, if you guys do want to play, let me know any suggestions, any feedback that you guys have. Um, because I would like to make this a weekly thing and I will be doing the, the commentary live. So it'll be a live com. And I think that the difference between kind of doing the live com versus doing the highlight package like this, I think you get a better kind of feeling of, you know, it's a, it's a bit better. It's a bit more entertaining to commentate on it. It's a bit more entertaining to, uh, to play. Um, and then obviously as well as that, it's probably more, you know, exciting for somebody that is playing if it is a live stream, uh, you know, there's pros and cons to doing a live stream. There's pros and cons to doing an actual series of it like this, where, you know, you kind of do the commentary and you're recording the game. You can cut out the clips rather than the full match. Um, now we could do both. We could do the live stream and then we could have the clips as a highlight package. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. So that is it for episode two. If you missed episode one, check it out. If you want to get involved, make sure you're following uh, on YouTube, subscribed on YouTube and following on Twitter. And yeah, that is it for me. Thanks to Magic Man for entering the room and playing me with some good games. Until next time, lads, if you want to get involved, yeah, we'll be ready for you. Peace.